But of the darkness, so does life come forth. The world spins round. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So this is going to be a little bit more of an informal one. Uh, Caroline, who is always making lemonade, not Caroline Mrs. M, um, or Caroline from the Celtic Traders, or any other Carolines we may have. Um, but Caroline, always making lemonade, did a video uh, centred around her uh, favourite reseller youtubers to watch and i think that i think she took inspiration from a similar but not exactly the same video that caroline mrs m did uh oh god there's a lot of carolines in this video already isn't there oh god we're getting confused anyway so basically i've just copied the idea like the little rascal i am and uh, I thought, yeah, what a brilliant video idea I can do. Um, and it's something different because I do sometimes get bored of doing the same videos over and over again. Whether, it, you know, the hunting videos are pretty fun, don't get me wrong, but, and especially they are pretty, pretty fun to edit. Um, but, you know, when you're doing the sales videos and the haul videos, it gets a bit boring. So it's nice to do this. So there will be people screaming at me uh, saying, why haven't you included this person? Why haven't you included the other person? But my uh, taste in YouTube resellers just kind of change, chop and change. There's not necessarily one that I get really fixated to. I just go with the flow and new people come up and then I start watching them and I, I kind of leave behind others and then maybe go back to others uh, after a while. So there isn't Zaheer on this list, there isn't Nick on this list or anything like that, which is kind of very... Uh, Odd, really, because they're you know they're two of the main guys in the in the reselling uh, world who have been doing this for a long a long time on YouTube. Um, and I did go through periods of watching them them quite intensely. Um, and I do occasionally dip into their videos if Nick's got you know a guest on or whatever live, and I end up catching it on on my YouTube feed. Then I will click in and have a watch, but. Generally, uh, these guys are the more regular ones I watch. There's a couple of guys in here as well who are kind of semi-regular viewing for me, but I do pop in, um, as I say, occasionally and, and, and watch them. But yeah, it's not an exhaustive list or anything, but I'll just go through it. And I, I assume that a lot of these guys you may be following, uh, but if you're not, then go over there and uh, subscribe to them because, you know, a lot of these people I very much enjoy watching. So... First off, we've got the Steer Green Adventure, of course. Uh, I did a, a video uh, all about Steer, essentially, on this channel called the Steer Green Appeal, if you haven't seen it. And it was basically a video uh, trying to get him up to a 1,000 subscribers because I felt that he deserved to monetize his content. As you can see here on my uh, channel, Channelytics or whatever from TubeBuddy, he's done 806 videos. And at the time, he was uh, about 930. 10 or something subscribers when I did that video um, he had done 700 odd videos and it's crazy that amount of videos so I mean just recently he's done about five uh, very very you know in a very short uh, period of time so he's just crazy with the level of production and uh, and it's brilliant just to watch him he does kind of vlogs and he does sales updates and he does hauls all surrounding reselling but it's just nice because you get with Steve, you get more invested in his personality, his person, um, rather than just the sales updates and the hauls and stuff. Obviously, that's nice to come back to, but he really does make you feel a part of his life in his vlogs. And, uh, yeah, that's why I love watching him. I've continued to watch him for such a long time. And he did get over a 1,000 subscribers not too long ago, so he's now able to monetize his content, which is pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, so I just love watching Steve. If you like a nice, relaxing watch uh, that is very, very genuine and very, very honest, then that is the place to go. So, yeah, Steve Green there. Uh, next, we have KLC Reselling, or which Andrew affectionately calls. Actually, we're, we're getting to Andrew uh, further on in the list as well. But Andrew affectionately calls KFC Reselling. And, of course, KLC Reselling is Louise. She is a clothing seller uh, prim primarily. 
you can see on her uh, channel art there and on her logo there's a dress so as you would imagine now you might be wondering well why do I watch Louise regularly if she's a clothing seller well apart from her live streams which are generally kind of slightly less focused on clothing which is nice and she gets guests on and stuff um, obviously aside from those because obviously I do watch those as well but aside from that I still just like tuning into certain ones of her videos I don't know what it is she has a very good presentation style of course I believe she used to be a teacher so I think that comes through those skills kind of get transferred over to YouTube quite nicely and you can see that she um, is very clear and concise and professional in the way she's coming through and uh, and with that being said it makes it a nice viewing experience a nice channel to watch so yeah I really do like watching Louise and I, as I say I do like her live streams with uh, normally with Andrew or Corey but sometimes other people join as well um, and it's just nice and if you like selling clothing which I do not like selling clothing but if you do like if you like that if you want to get involved with selling ladies clothing or anything like that go over to Louise's channel don't bother coming over here to my channel because I don't do any clothing or anything of that nature. Go over to Louise's channel and that is where you're going to find the information you uh, are looking for. And uh, as far as I'm aware, I mean, I don't know the clothing market, but as far as I'm aware from what I've heard her talking about, she seems very clued up on what she's doing. Of course, I don't really have anything anything to compare it with because I don't do clothing so I can't really say that the information is factual or not but from as far as I'm aware she seems very screwed on with her head and what she's doing with with clothing so yeah just check her out and uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy her content so next we have the man the myth the legend who is of course Ken Chapman been around for a very long time obviously is been in and out of YouTube quite a number of times for various different reasons. He's just come back on YouTube in the last, I don't know, six weeks maybe. And he's doing these really cool live, uh, not sorry, not live, but they, they're almost like live shows, but they're not live. Uh, and I think he described them in, in that way as well. And it's a good description. So he does, as you can see down here, these 40 or 30 to basically 30 to 50 minute shows um, in which he does poetry, he does reselling, he does beer updates and all manner of stuff and he does a little bit of history and stuff and he talks you and he gives you a bit of uh, knowledge on history and stuff because obviously he sells mainly antiques and collectibles so of course that's what he's going to talk about because that's in kind of direct correlation with antiques and collectibles history um but yeah it's really really good he's been a reseller for a very long time he's been doing it seriously i think since about 2013 2014 something like that but he's also been doing it i think he's been doing it for longer than that i think he started in 2010 2011 time i'm not 100 percent sure but it, he's been reselling for a long time anyway so he knows what he's talking about, he knows what he's on about, uh, he's got a large, he's got a huge inventory, uh, he does really, really good sales figures every month, uh, you probably may know of him from Facebook or, or, or something like that, um, but yeah, really, really cool, I love his live shows, and I wanted to do a poem, because I uh, wrote, he, he do, as I say, he does poetry, and um, he's been reading out these John Cooper Clark poems. I've never heard of the guy, uh, but I did a bit of research on him and stuff, and it's quite interesting, actually. And they're these kind of very comedic, almost uh, sexy or sultry kind of poems in one way as well. There's a little bit of that in there. Or uh, I don't think sleaze, sleazy is, has a very negative connotation to it, but I, I mean it in an affectionate way. His poems are a little bit sleazy, but in a good way. Uh, the, this John Cooper Clark guy, and he's done a few other poems, but also I think he's wrote and, and read out a couple of poems that he's made himself. And I've always thought, I, I've, I've, I've done little tiny short poems myself, uh, of, I'd say over the years really. I mean, I've done little bits of poetry and stuff. And my dad's always been into poetry. He, he used to, he, I think he still does occasionally, but he used to do poems for people's birthdays and occasions and stuff like that, just as a hobby. Uh, but I, on Friday, last week I think it was, decided just to spend a couple of hours structuring a poem around something that I'm very interested in, which is, of course, existence as a whole, and that ties in with philosophy and life and death and all the rest of it. 
So I did this poem and I thought, it's a, this, I didn't plan this particularly, I just thought when I'm doing this video, oh that's a good idea that I could do that poem. So um, it works out pretty well that I can, I can do this poem. So it's called Tem Temporal Polarity and it's structured around what I believe to be the metaphysics of my own existence in a philosophical way, I suppose. Um, and I thought I'd just read it out. There's one line in it that I'm not too happy with because I had to put um, one word without an S in, but the a couple of lines above it, the the rhyme, so to speak, I suppose the rhyme, uh, do, it doesn't rhyme quite, not completely because there's no S on, on the end of that other word. But you see, if I put an S on the end of that other word, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense, you know, the line, but it's still pretty good, it still rhymes pretty well, but the rest of it I'm very, very happy with, it's just that little tiny nitpick, but I'm going to um, read this out, since we're obviously uh, touching upon Ken's uh, channel here, so temporal polarity, what is this world but not a conscious dream, an illustrious playing of waves, the divine fleck of light in the eyes of all gleam, yet darkness in their caves, but in darkness do we not find the source, protruding out we form this world. We have set our course, once more the void is pearled. Don't worry my child, you need not be afraid, for flowers magically rise through pavement cracks. Darkness is a necessary trade to ensure that life always comes back. Too sharp is the force of the ecologist's stare, hides within it false solitary truth. There is no one but us to care, a heinous lie that damns our youth. As the knowledge gets ever closer, you sink into a bath of nihilistic treacle. You will not be life's deposer, instead your place is equal. An optical illusion is deceptive, one image we only see, but both must be respected, for two always have to be. A green-fingered god sleeps with this truth well, for he is bound by precious borders, a dance that gives the tell, a loving set of universal orders. In polarity we do see the truth, the tree mystically moves with the sky, there is no end to come, no heartbreaking goodbye. I really am so happy with that poem, you know, as I say, apart from, the, the line that I was on about was uh, this one here, uh, for flowers magically rise through the pavement cracks, and then the, the rhyme was, of course, to ensure that life always comes back. But you see, I couldn't have put an S on the back because it wouldn't have made sense. But So it doesn't quite rhyme fully there, but, I, but the rest of it I'm really, really happy with. And it says what I want to say, you know, in, in the poem. Um, and obviously t touching upon polar feeling and, and all the rest of it and uh, the idea of um, non-dualism and stuff but I, I really, yeah, I'm so happy that I did that poem it took me about two, I'd say about two hours of structuring and so and that was when I was doing other things you know, it wasn't two hours of solid work on it I was doing other things with it it's 32 lines, which is a little bit short for a poem because short poems really I think we're meant to be around 40 lines. That's a very short poem. Um, so it is a little bit short for a poem. But still, for the first attempt, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. So, yeah, that's Ken anyway. I won't uh, ramble any longer. So next, we've got Peter Ray's Adventures. In fact, my throat's getting a bit hoarse. Because I've just done Thursday Talks not long ago. Uh, we're 3 o'clock now. I don't know whether you can see on the screen. Uh, but, yeah, I've just done Thursday Talks not long ago. So I was talking for ages on that. But, yeah, Peter Ray's Adventures. I, I stop into Peter Ray's channel once a week on a Wednesday. I do watch a few of his vlogs. Uh, you know, little bits of them and stuff. But, generally, it's just for the live stream on a Wednesday. Just pop in there and have a chat with people. And it's just nice to have something on in the background. Just while I'm winding down for the day. Just getting maybe odds and ends loose ends of work tied up um so yeah as i say he does that live stream on a wednesday he does the vlogs as well you can see on his channel art there he does uh reselling and gaming and all the rest of it so he does loads of different videos it's a it's a real miss mi, mi, what's the phrase mishmash of a channel i suppose uh which is brilliant because it gets to cover so much you know um but yeah so i i watch uh his some of his vlogs and then of course the uh, live stream he does on Wednesday, a nice laid back channel, uh, you know, somewhere yet you can go for a relaxing viewing experience, as I say, the live streams on a Wednesday are brilliant because you can just pop in, have a chat, 
I think Peter also does a quiz as well some weeks or most weeks and then you can obviously just pop in and uh, join in with the quiz or whatever and that's nice again it's quite relaxing and uh, yeah it's just it's just nice so that's Peter Ray's channel Money Mental UK, who is affiliated, or, well, I say affiliated, it's not really, they're not really affiliated, but I always seem to couple them together as being Louise and Andrew. Not, they're not together or anything, but I always seem to, my mind can't cope with the idea of saying Andrew solely apart from Louise or Louise apart from Andrew. And talking about non dualism, that's, that's getting into non dualism right there, but yeah, I just, my mind can't cope with it so anyway louise sometimes has andrew on or pretty much every week actually on a thursday a thursday night live stream on about eight o'clock uh she has andrew on as a guest and we have a chat and stuff um and andrew is surrounding basically reselling but also mental health issues so that's why it's called money mental uk's channel uh, in which you know he does few videos on mental health he does a few videos on reselling haul videos and the usual stuff we, we we do you know the sales updates and stuff but he also does something as you can see in his channel art here uh, this little frying pan he also does something called cooking with andrew which is basically just a live stream in which he cooks uh, something on screen and uh, and then ends up eating it with us and just having a chat as well so again it's a nice relaxed viewing experience um of course if you just want to solely come for reselling content then the, the, the reselling content is there of course on Andrew's channel but there's also non-reselling content so you might want to if you want to go over there just for the solely the reselling stuff then you can be selective you know you can just watch the reselling stuff but I would advise you to at least check out the other videos that he does like the, the mental health or the cooking videos because they are actually quite good uh, especially the cooking ones that they are, they are a lot of fun and again it's just nice relaxed viewing so yeah uh, money mental uk there george of course george has taken the reselling youtube community by storm uh, obviously i i actually thought for a long while he already had a channel and uh, he didn't have a channel but I, yeah definitely i knew as soon as he started a channel he'd be very very popular with people because the the stuff that he buys and sells is top quality the videos replicate that quality perfectly i don't know how many of you will uh, of you will be aware i'm sure quite a few of you will be but uh there was a guy in the uk reselling youtube community called ben fitzpatrick and, uh, sadly no longer he doesn't he, he, he what was i trying to say there my words got away from me sadly he doesn't do videos anymore that's what i'm trying to say but he had a very, very good style. His vlogs were brilliant, very, very well put together, very well structured. He knew what he was doing with editing really, really uh, well, really hit the nail on the head. George is much like that. However, there, there is certainly a distinctive style to George's content aside from Ben's. Um, I think the distinction or one of the distinctions comes in the video structure and his cuts and things like that. George has a little bit of a distinction in that way, but also in the way that he uses uh, superimposed images and superimposed videos. George does a little bit more of that, so that sets him apart from Ben a little bit. But yeah, very, very high quality videos, very high quality vlogs. He does boot sale hunting, he does uh sales updates i believe i think he does uh you, you know loads of different things the live streams listing live streams all the rest of it so there's a lot to uh, a lot of factual information to be absorbed very experienced reseller knows what he's doing so yeah definitely go and check him out especially if you want very very high quality content um and and yeah just someone who's experienced and knows what what they're doing really so yeah that is uh george Again, Corey, we've got here another channel that's doing really well at the moment. His channel is getting, gaining popularity. Um, and if you don't know, this thing down here that I've got up, uh, I don't know whether non-YouTubers will be aware of this, but this is just uh, Tube Buddy Channelytics. So basically, it tells you a bit of information about the channel. So, you know, he's got 63k views, he's got 103 videos, his subscriber count there. And then you see over the last month how many subscribers and stuff have got, so, you know, gained. And it's quite a, it's sort of like a rudimentary tool. I also have VidIQ installed as well, which gives you a bit more information as well. But yeah, that's all that is. It just shows you a bit more information about the channel. So, you know, just in case anyone was wondering what that pop-up thing is. 
but yeah, so another channel that's blowing up at the moment, doing really well. Um, you know, Corey does. Uh, I think he he did do a podcast for a bit. I don't know whether that's still going. He does live streams. He does haul videos. He does sales updates. Uh, I think he does a few vlogs and stuff as well. He did one. He did one recently. Uh, don't know whether they're regular, like really regular. But yeah. If you want a young guy who's obviously knows what he's doing with reselling, he's been doing it a few years now, I think he's been doing it two or three years, something like that. So he's not brand new to this or anything. But if you want a young guy to follow, because I know there's some guys in the community who are fairly young or, you know, are my sort of age, Corey's sort of age, um, then this is the person you want to be following because it that's kind of woven into his brand in the, the sense of, that that youth the youthful kind of spirit is woven into his videos woven into his brand so if you're a young guy hungry for the hustle or whatever you want to call it then go and follow Corey because that's kind of his soul well not soul but his overall demographic his overall kind of brand so yeah definitely go over there and check out Corey and then finally we got Sparrow's End. Now, I don't really watch Sparrow's End as much as I used to, of course. Most of you will be aware I'm very good friends with Mel. And that kind of means that I don't watch her videos as much as you may think. I know that's kind of contradictory. But because when you're good friends with someone, you don't feel like you need to watch her videos as much. And you don't, don't really feel... Uh, you know, you don't feel like the videos... Yeah, they may give you some information or whatever, but... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like I need to watch their videos, essentially. But, same, I wanted to include her on the list because, again, another channel that is doing really, really well at the moment, that is blowing up, that is um, quite rightly so, because Mel's been a teacher for a number of years. And again, like I mentioned with Louise, I think I touched upon the fact that there's those transferable skills from being a teacher, from Louise being a teacher, the same is there with Mel. Her level of conscientiousness, her level of clarity, her level of style in presentation um, is just brilliant. And not only her style in presentation, but also her level of being genuine. So it's not necessarily that she's... She can be, on a lot of her videos, incredibly professional. But not only that, she can also be very, very genuine and down-to-earth. And that, I mean, that's an incredibly hard balance, you know, to be professional and to also be down to earth and genuine, but that's what you feel on multiple videos with Mel, you, you end up getting, and her editing's nice and clear and clean, crisp, she doesn't go overboard with her editing, like sometimes I do, um, because my style is, is totally different from hers in, in editing and stuff, I just want to put everything into my editing and get lasers and dinosaurs and god knows what um but mel is much more considered and it really does make for a very very powerful uh positively powerful viewing experience so yeah go over and check out mel i used to watch her videos quite emphatically i think that's the right word emphatically but i've not used that word in years so it might be the wrong word but i used to watch her videos a lot anyway and uh, I used to get a lot of pleasure out of watching her videos because of the reasons that I've just mentioned. So I'll leave it there, guys. That is my kind of YouTubers that I watch. Um, yeah, really good selection of people. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it there, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you'd like to, you can also subscribe to my channel, which I'm pretty cool as well, you know, like all these other people who I've got up here on open and tabs. Um, yeah, I'm pretty cool. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then do that. Like the video down below. Drop me a comment down below. Um, and if you haven't checked out any of these people, go over there to their channels and subscribe to them. Hit the bell all the rest of it for those channels. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mild.